This is the uh, brains of the local really, all the electronic systems. Um, you can get a lot of information from the EM2000 screen, but if you plug a laptop into this, you can actually uh, pick up and uh, store data of a lot more. That's your circuit breakers. It's quite a lot. Fire detection equipment, which is not fitted. Um, yeah, the circuit breakers, then for cab eaters, parking brake. Uh, in the past, we've had problems with electronic cards. Uh, it's like, like electronics on cars, really. You, you can't do much in the old days. If you had a, a class 37 with a blown motor problem, you just, or electro pneumatic controls, you just shove a bit of cardboard in jam relays and things like that, we can't with these these days, it's all if they do go down, you sometimes you can fool the computer, like a, your computer at home, you just reboot it switch it off, back on again, sometimes it works um, we become, when we're working on them, we're quite alarmed and if it don't work, you get something else uh, lucky we store spare cards in our service van, so we can we got a complete set, so we can swap over um, we call them the DIO cards. We swap these. These are these are play up sometimes. Sometimes by swapping them over from one to the outer to the middle and vice versa, it works. Sometimes you don't. Just back a new card in. Sometimes you can check on the EM2000 screen. On the, it's got various channels uh, uh, for multiplexer faults, which are known as mux, mux faults. Um, you can check each channel and each channel if you had all the all the information from where that channel feeds you can uh, you can track down where the fault is a lot of the faults on these uh, it was water ingress into the parking brake uh, supply cable uh, it brings up faults sometimes it doesn't happen so much now uh, you seem to get sort of uh, weeks and weeks of neatly little things in nothing but uh, by and large is a very good system uh, obviously you can change it's module changing like the old 56s and the later refurbished 37s they had modules you pull out TDAVR modules and things like that and, and uh, you just you can swap bits over um, but uh, you do after years of working on them you do get used to what to look for um, you can go straight to a fault sometimes, you can think about it on the way to the job and you've got in your head what you're going to do when you get there and also you have the parts on the front seat waiting to go on so it, it can be a really good turnaround but it, you, it takes years to get familiar with them really and in little uh, little ways um, Got the cab eater there's one of the most essential things on these because drivers like to keep warm and particularly on ballast jobs if they're stuck out in the middle of nowhere um, but you could have the engine running to keep your heat on um, so sometimes that's a problem if you've got to shut the engine down in the built up area it's just keeping warm but you've got to put your hot plate which um, the old attraction actually had the 37s had them on the 47s are like a cooker uh, so all your light indicators it tells you your, your lights, what you got illuminated on the front. Uh, you got the blower, which has been a fairly recent addition in the last few years, just to keep you cool, because these can get hot like a telephone box. These things can. Um, they do get quite warm in the cab. Uh, it's quite a basic layout, really. It's got a cold driver's seat. Uh, it's all single man these days, of course. Um, but that's basically it on the, the electronic side, you just you don't get that much trouble with them if we can find some wood to touch, but uh, we do hold on stock some cards and things that we know that do go um, you get problems sometimes, there's some cards behind that cover there where that no smoking fag sign there, behind there we've got we've got a dip card, sometimes that goes uh, we had some faults with them, we've walked again in from the windscreen
running down behind the dash onto the cars and causing a fault. But uh, touch wood, I haven't had one of them for uh, quite a while now. Um, as you can see, there's uh, pretty good visibility on these locos. Uh, the old 37s, they were. It's amazing, really, with the design of them and the and the lack of uh, visibility. But the 47s, 60s, and these are very good. Um, I think these locals will be around for long to come, but uh, yeah, I'm worked on a class 70s yet. Yeah, but I think I think these locals are. They do look. They do look good. Um, I like them in the red, to be honest. But uh, that's basically it. Um, it would take a long time to explain everything on these. these you know, you've got fire extinguishers, cab fire extinguishers, but attacking small fires. Um, it's fire equipment on class 67s, but not on these. Uh, they probably want to let them burn, I expect. But um, that's it basically. You just uh, you can plug in into there, similar to a uh, fault read on a car. It's all the same thing, but like all electronics these days, uh, if you can't reset it, and you haven't got the card, you're stuck. So you're going to ask for help, but uh, this is all about the auto start, uh, which come in for fuel saving. Um, it's supposed to have been so put into use, but uh, it's, it hasn't really. My honest opinion is, in, in theory, it's a good idea, but it, you can't put more faults on a local. Uh, when, when the ultimate is a very reliable local that can pull a train from A to B and not break down, so uh, it's, uh, it's a basic um, layout of the local. They're quite long, these are. But uh, it's only a lighting. The lighting panel, cab lights, desk lights, instrument lights. Uh, we tend to go through a lot of bulbs. We go through boxes of bulbs on the little, little, little lamps, like Christmas tree bulbs. They are these. All the lamps go out. You get troubles. You get one. They, they wired in uh, like a series. Some are, some are. So we get one out and one opposite goes, or the one down further down goes. So. But um, all in all, a good local. They even got little things to put. Uh, a tablet on which I've never seen used yet. Um, I don't think it'd be a good idea really to have a tablet. Any any form of distractions per well, I think. Um, but there we go, people come up with ideas and in the in the with the best of intentions but sometimes the best of ideas causes more problems like everything in life. And uh, that's basically it. You got your power controller there which goes up to notch eight. Uh, you can override it actually by by pulling it pulling it out. It's on the spring, goes over that stop there. Just in case you're struggling up a bank, up licky incline or whatever. But um, all in all is is a good local, bit noisy. Um, build quality is not so good as a 60. But um, I, I I think it, it's it's uh, I can't fault them to be honest. So uh, there you are. You had a little bit of a look round. Um, see all these soundproofing starting to fall apart now. But for the 20 year local, it's not bad actually. It's not bad at all.